is this like? A hoof? If you were gonna like borrow a horse's, mini horse's hoof to apply lipstick? Oh my god, oh my god. Welcome back guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to another Makeup With Me drugstore pick video. I just have to say it. We are rounding the corner on drugstore month. Um, I have so many things still that I want to make videos about and talk to you about. A couple of them I'm going to save and do in March just because one of them is like one of the biggest trends this year. It's metallic eyes and I found the coolest drugstore product to get you there. So um, metallic eyes featuring drugstore products coming in March. Don't worry about that. Um, maybe like a Kylie Jenner, a Kylie lip kit review. Hello, like who doesn't want that? And I don't know, maybe some other stuff, maybe some special things like, I don't know, we'll just see. But until then, you're here to learn about drugstore, my favorite drugstore lip picks from this year's drugstore month. Um, today we're gonna be reviewing three. I've got three girls in mind for this, or three guys, or three G-Paws or G-Maws, whatever. I've got three people in mind for this. Um, that want d different lip colors. The cool thing is that you, there's so many options now. The three people that I have in mind is number one, the chick that's kind of on the go that doesn't want to check the mirror a bunch of times and reapply lipstick. You want to do it once or twice max, I got a stain for you. Number two would be someone that's a little bit more open to a couple reapplications. It's a really thick, pretty, glossy matte finish without strings and sticks, like when you open your mouth and it's like Edward Scissorhands mouth, you know? I don't even know if that's a thing, but like I swear I remember that from when I was five. And then the last person would just be somebody that's kind of like a happy medium of all those things. You don't mind a little reapplication, you don't mind, but you don't want it to feel tight and dry, you kind of maybe want it creamy and hydrating, then I got a lipstick for you. So, we're reviewing three lip products. They are so bomb. Um, I'm gonna try not to talk quite so much because like, duh, you have things to do. And so do I. So I'm gonna put one on and then I'll pull it off and we'll do the next one and then the next one. So you're gonna see it from zero three times. Okay, cool? Okay, here we go, let's do it. Okay guys, so we're starting with our first drugstore lip pick of drugstore month. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Last Lip Color. Say that like 19 times fast. What you can't tell from the picture online and even probably right now is that it's two-sided. This is one side, this is the stain side, and this is the balm side. So the cool thing is that you apply the lip stain. It's They say it lasts for 24 hours, I don't know if I'd buy that. but. Um, the color lasts for a really long time. It's really nice. It's really good. I bought a nude color because it's like so in for spring. And so I'm gonna apply it and show you how I apply it. Okay, so again, this is number one. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Lip Color. So the cool thing about this is that it's really sharp on the end. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you this, so like, just believe me. Um, it's really sharp on the end, so it kinda can work as a liner. And voila, there is my Step one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, Pro Last Lip Color, not Pro Matte. So what's cool is that it is pretty pigmented. I mean, I know this is kind of neutral, but it takes a second to dry. Like right now, if I put my lips together, I'm like trying to talk like this, like a horse. Do horses talk? I don't know about that. As soon as it dries, you switch over to the balm and you do wait, wah, wait, wah. Now I'm dry. I'm gonna flip it over, take the cap off, cape, cap off, taking the cap off and I'm gonna use the balm side. Oh, it feels like a dream. It seriously feels so dreamy. This one is, I love this one. It's like so perfect for spring and so perfect for trends like this year. Nude's always cool, so like what am, who am I kidding? Um, this one's called Permanent Blush. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off. We're gonna move on to the next one. Pause. Okay, so moving on to number two. Number two is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. It seriously is so bomb. Not only does it like smell like vacation, waterfalls, unicorns, everything I want to smell like basically. Again, it's Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. They are so good. Oh God, I wish I could like ram this through the camera so you could smell it. Ugh. Okay, so another cool thing, this is also a really flat paddle brush, but it's on both sides. It's like a pirate leg kind of, like walking by. Um, and so the flatness kind of lets you use it as like a really precise for like a liner look if you don't want to use a liner. Let me apply my Revlon matte lip color. I like that it is, it's really creamy, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel drying and thick like the stain. If you're like, I don't need 24 hour lip color or I don't need 12 hour lip color, um, then I, this is totally right up your alley because you can apply it a few times. That, my friends, is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Again, wanna buy them all. 
So I'm gonna clean up and we're gonna move on to our last lip color. All right, and last but not least is a stick. We're getting away from the stain and the gloss and the matte lip color and moving on to a really creamy, delish Revlon lipstick. It's Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick. So I'm gonna apply it and I'm gonna give you an extra little lipstick tip. If you ever look at a color like this, if you're a chick that goes, oh my God, it's too bold, it's, I can't, I don't wear, blah, blah, blah. first of all, you're wrong and I love you. And second of all, you totally can wear bold lip color. It's actually the thing that will trick more people into thinking that you're way more pulled together than you are. So if you're someone that's scared of a bold pop of color, go ahead and just do the top lip, really e emphasize the bow of your lip because it'll create shape for your lip. And then you really just do a crazy job of and rubbing your lips together. So I'm gonna do that first just to show you how to wear a bolder color but make it a little more subtle on your own lips. And then I'll go ahead and coat the rest of my lips for the chicks that are like, give me the color. Cool? Here we go. Okay, so I did my top lip, I did the bow. I'm rubbing my lips together like crazy and now I'm gonna use my index finger just to move it around a little. So now, instead of having this like crazy saturated lip, I've got the pigment, but it's not really loud. If you want your lips to ever look a little bit bigger and just fuller, don't do it, don't do your bottom lip and then rub your lips together. You need to emphasize the bow of your top lip, rub your lips together and use a finger just to move it around. If you do the bottom, it will only kind of, it won't really emphasize the bow, making your lips look a lot smaller and ew, okay. So now I'm gonna put the rest on just for those of you that are like, give me that color. Boom. Oh my God, I love this color. It feels so like lotiony and creamy. Um, it's not sticky like gloss. It's not tight like a stain. It really is the happy medium. I think we went through the th of the three options that we used. I feel like this one's a little more drying, but you, it's got the balm, so don't get crazy. This one's a little more wet um, because it's a little bit more of a glossy texture without being too sticky. And this one is really just that creamy, hydrating, but really vibrant lip color. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Another Makeup With Me drugstore pick, lip pick? Another Makeup With Me drugstore lip pick video, or the only one. And don't forget, this week, I'm gonna announce the biggest Makeup With Me drugstore giveaway ever. It is so bomb. It is so much stuff. It is gonna be tailored to you. Hello. It's literally stupid how good it's gonna be. So, stay tuned. You'll get details for that in a couple days. Maybe one, maybe two. Maybe three. How do you care? Click subscribe below or and give me a thumbs up and like shoot me like it's like kind of like tipping your hat to me and like like a little bit of like LeBron stuff and like just like a pound it kind of thing. Like the thumbs up is like a pound it in YouTube land. And if you want to like click thumbs down, like don't bother coming back because like the bye. So I still love you, but don't. So okay, love you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.